Hello there, Victor Grant here of Search Triggers, and I want to show you how to create a Google API for the custom search. Uh, you first want to go into the Google API button, and I believe that's already on the page that you saw this. Um, you want to be logged into your Gmail or Google account uh, before you do this, or it'll prompt you. Once you see this screen, what, all you want to do is click the button that says Create Project. This is actually live, so I'm. Um, what I want to do is I can see, okay, these are all the API projects that you can create. So we've created a project, and all we want to do is go to the custom search API. That's this right here, okay, the custom search API. And you can see the courtesy limit is 100 requests per day, and then there's a pricing. And if you click the pricing, you can see the current pricing uh, the, from Google. But until you put in your credit card uh, and pay Google for the custom search, it limits it to 100 requests per day. The first thing you do is you click that button and now you get the Google API's terms of service. You agree to the terms. Scroll down here and click the accept button. And then you it comes to this custom search terms of service and you click that and you hit accept. And that's basically it. You now have it working okay so now what we need to do is get the numbers okay and the numbers you paste into our form okay so here's the 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 uh, the information uh, you basically click on the link and it also gives you your traffic reports for your project then you click this button over here that says API access okay and right here is your API key okay what we need to do is create a server key okay and all you do is click the button that says server key create new server key and just hit create this is uh, you can put in IP addresses if you want to restrict it uh, to only our IP address but for now let's just create it with blank so that any IP address can access this key and voila now we have a key and we have a server app and this is the API key for the server and this is the API key for the browser now this server key is the one you want to paste in so what we do is you see it says key for server apps you copy this 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 key all the way through okay you just copy this key 